Digibike community. It's Randy Hilarski here coming at you from Acapulco, Mexico. I am bringing you some Orox indicators tonight. You know, Digibyte's one of my favorite communities. You guys keep it real in crypto Twitter and everywhere else online. Um, super positive. And I have been an owner of Digibyte on and off since April of 2017. At that time, uh, Digibyte was adding uh, SegWit. And I thought that was a great opportunity to buy. And I'm going to go through the Oracs indicators tonight. And I want to show you a little bit of where I've been with Digibyte. It's been a pretty amazing journey. So let's pull up the screen. This is my article that I wrote on, um, it was four years ago. I was announcing that on April 28th, uh, SegWit was being activated. Uh, do believe Digibyte is a, uh, fork of Bitcoin. So, you know, it just makes sense. Bring on SegWit. So they did. So this is the article. Um, four years ago, <laughs> I made $32 for that post on Steemit. And you can see all the, the comments. People were pretty excited about what was going on. You know, Digibytes had a great community going back for years. And you know, I've, been, I've been part of it. So, let me go in here and show you uh, another screen. I'm going to share a different one now. This is going to make some of you guys cry. <laughs> this is CoinGecko. Make sure I got the full screen here. This is CoinGecko going all the way back into that time. This is when I was accumulating my Digibyte beginning of the month of April of 2017, the price was at 0. 0.00047. And as the, the got closer to the, the addition of SegWit to Digibyte, uh, I sold. So I, I bet I sold right around here, uh, maybe here. So I did about a four, five X. It was a great trade for me. I was a buy the rumor, sell the news guy. I wasn't one of those people that, uh, use signals and, and indicators to trade my cryptocurrency. I would see something, see some news coming up, and I would prepare myself accordingly. And you can see, if I would have just held, you know, if I had indicators that showed me that there was still, you know, plenty of room to go, a lot of skin in the game, I would have stayed in a little bit longer. But I didn't have Orox back then. So, you know, I just traded what I had, and that's with information. I'm a social media guy, so information is my currency. So then it went back down and then end of 2017 came when everything absolutely pumped. And as you can see, Digibyte made it all the way to 13 and a half cents. And then we had the 2018, 19 bear market. And that was a rough time. I'm sure a lot of people, the weak hands got out, the, the people that were just traders, uh, the true community mer uh, emerged at this time. So, now we're going into a new bull market. Uh, this is May of this year. I, my opinion was that the bull market started at the end of 2019. And it's just been going ever since. And now Digibyte is sitting at right about two and a half cents. So uh, I'm pretty excited for what's happening with Digibyte. But I'm going to show you something really cool. And that's the Orox indicators. You're going to be able to use all these indicators for free. I am on the team. I do the social media for them. Uh, if you sign up, you also get a referral code. And you can make five bucks for every referral. Uh, this is like TradingView on steroids. All the indicators that uh, Orox has, you're going to be able to use for absolutely free. Absolutely free at this current time. All right. I'm going to show you some real doozies here. Pretty badass. All right, so let me give you a full screen so you can see all this nice up and close. All right, so I've got a couple pulled up here for you. Uh, this is the Digibyte chart from Binance, DGB USDT. And as you can see, it's got the typical volume indicator. I've got the fear and greed indicator. Um, this is a good, good one to have. Uh, I, right now, we're still in the greed greed area. If you go back to October 1st, 
we were still at about a 40 and now we're at 80 but we reached almost 100 <laughs> we got up to like 95 holy crap yeah that was when bitcoin was hitting at that uh forty four thousand dollar mark and you could see digibyte did you buy one right up with bitcoin it rode the wave and uh i don't like using wix but let's use the wix here but three and a half cents is what uh, digibyte rode up to when bitcoin went to forty four thousand or whatever it was all right so that's fear and greed and then you have the syndicator here called you go into advanced indicators and it's called uh di demand index this indicator is one of the most powerful indicators in a trader's tool set and unfortunately most charting platforms do not support it or have incorrect algorithms in general the cross above or below the o line can signal a change in trend therefore if we see the di line crossing the o line up or down it can signify a shift in the market all right so that's this one and as, as you can see with digibyte we are below that line, the O line right now. So once it gets back above this O line, it's time to rock and roll for Digibyte. All right. This isn't rocket science, folks. What I'm showing you here is the same stuff that I use, and it's all basic. And I am not a trader anymore. I like to sit on coins for a long time. Uh, I'm a, look, I'm in hex, and almost all my holdings now are in hex. So, uh, these kind of indicators will help you make a better decision and you do not have to be one of these people that takes a course uh weeks of of learning to get up to speed to trade all right now i'm going to show you it's already it's already up there but i want to explain it to you the orox indicator it's our in-house indicator which predicts the entry points at 70 plus percent accuracy activate it and follow the simple long and short arrows to realize profits today that's what this one is let's uh let's get in a little bit closer here right now today or on the 25th of january it went from being um, bullish to on the 20 26th going bearish all right so you watch these and when the arrow flips well if you're trading with leverage god forbid <laughs> you might want to get out right so they the algorithm knows a lot more than i do and it goes through a lot more information it goes through signals it goes through you know it combines a whole bunch of indicators and it gives you a nice average of everything so if you are not an experienced trader and you're just getting into doing this this is a perfect one right now it's free and when things are all up and rolling for Orox, and that could be next month or six months from now it's going to be 200 dollars a month for this indicator right now you can use it for absolutely free all right very cool stuff. Let's go back to or Orox indicators. If you want to use lines, if you don't, if you don't like charting, this this is awesome, right? It gives you your resistance, and it gives you your um, oh, what's it called? The ah, jeez, support. There you go. So support is at 0 0.0187. And resistance is at 0 0.03. So it helps you decide once again whether it's time to buy or sell. All right, let's pull up a goodie that everyone loves to show off. It's called Bollinger Bands. And Bollinger Bands, we're right at the bottom of the Bollinger Bands right now. I don't use that one, but I know a lot of you guys do. Now let's go into advanced indicators. There's one more that I know some people in crypto that shall not be named they love to use the bollinger bands and recently we had a one two three four five six seven eight and then we had one one and now we're back into uh the red so uh, if you use this indicator do you, this is sequential look it's normally 100 it's going to be 100 bucks you get it absolutely free right now i don't know what they charge in trading view i've been using orox for oof, almost a year and a half now so Check it out. Uh, it looks like things are going good for, for Digibyte. And I want to say that uh, I got Twitter pulled up here on my phone. It says that uh, there was a tweet by Lunar Crush, and Lunar Crush ranked at the beginning of 2021. So far, Digibyte's ranked number 10 as having the most social mentions. 
on going across uh, social media. Now that is some great news. I am a crypto social media guy. I do social media for cryptocurrency companies. And this is a metric that I love to see. Um, I'm proud to be part of the Hex community because we're really strong on social media. And so is Digibyte. Digibyte is phenomenal. You guys are out there. You're out there chatting it up. You're out there sharing memes. You're sharing, uh, making videos like this one and doing all kinds of cool stuff. I wish I had some swag. You know, I don't I don't have any Digibyte swag. I just have some uh, Ethereum swag. But um, be proud, guys. You're doing really well. I think this bull run is going to go very well for Digibyte. You know, just, just keep up the great work. And I promise you I'm not... I'm going to keep doing these every week to uh, help your community out, to show you what's going on. And you help me out. Let the guys know that, hey, Randy's doing a great job here. Sign up on Orox and uh, let's get some uh, people using our platform. And I, they have great stuff happening over the next couple of weeks. Pay attention. Follow us at Get Orox on Twitter. And uh, if you guys make some content using the Orox platform, let me know. And... I'll, I'll get permission and tweet it. All right. So cheers from Acapulco. Thank you so much. And I hope that uh, this is a great year for you guys.